I saw Duran Duran a little, my, my teenage self died just a little bit. I was like, maybe I, maybe I don't love you as much as I used to. It was sad. Um, and speaking of sad loves, that is what I'm going to share with you today. Um, I dug up my uh, poetry that I collected um, here in my repurposed science lab book that I have retitled Poems Etc. Good. Not working. This is not my working copy, people. These are my good copies. And I have, uh, where I, I put <clears throat> my poetry on one side, and then poems by actual poets that I also felt were good on the other side. <laughs> it's important to share the stage. <laughs> Clearly no ego problems there with teenage me. Um, Anyway, as uh, many adolescent girls, these are mostly my junior high poems. Uh, when I was plagued with passionate, passionate, uh, really uh, unrequited crushes, um, with boys who were who had no idea I was alive. They were either in a different grade than me. They were certainly in a different social circle. We you know different friends. Often they went to a different school. You know, they would. I was extremely good at encountering people for a very short period of time and deciding that that was the boy <laughs> that I was in love <clears throat> Who then inspired some terrible poetry. Um, so the first woman I'm going to share with you is is uh, mysteriously entitled the man. Oh, and it's also, of course, in a variety of different gel pen colors. <laughs> The man. Does he even know I exist? Does he care? If he knew what I feel, what would he say? Would he laugh? Or cry? Or would he look me in the eye and smile? I also dated these works for posterity because clearly that was important. <clears throat> uh, and of course the boys that I was falling in love with were uh, highly inappropriate and, and very different from me, but uh, I was always aspirational, so this one is called Rebel. <laughs> Please feel free to picture what this young man undoubtedly looked like. You're a rebel. I can see. The fire in your eyes. You have the guts to speak out. <laughs> Will you take me and teach me to be a rebel too? Oh. <laughs> how, how could anybody say no to that? How did I spend my adolescence alone? I can't imagine. Um, here's, here's another one where clearly I am hoping that things will change. Um, I went to a, a high school with uh, a lot of rich kids. I wasn't a poor kid, but I certainly wasn't a really rich kid, and I, uh, I really saw that divide as a thing. A real, you know, Montague and Capulet situation, <laughs> where, you know, they had the money, and so they hung out together with other people who had money, and that was what was stopping my true love and I from getting together. <clears throat> So, uh, so this was the plea for this one. Uh, oh, this was the same year as Rebel. Gosh, look at that. Which I'm not telling you because I am old. <laughs> I'm just gonna say I was in junior high. Uh, I've seen you. Oh, it's untitled because that's more angsty. Um, I've seen you with the rich girls. They have plenty, and I don't. I can't offer you any money or seduce you with expensive presents. <laughs> Clearly, I was not sure what really entailed a good relationship. I have only one thing that those other girls don't have, and it won't buy you any toys. All I have to give you, any guesses here, is me. Uh, piece of work here. Uh, 
<laughs> which is also the period of time when I dotted my eyes with a big circle. Oh yeah, yeah, not a heart. I was not that, uh, not that whimsical, but a, but a big circle. Um, this was one where I actually did have a boyfriend for a period of time. That was very exciting. Um, he was a really good guy, actually. I have very fond thoughts of him still. Uh, but then, of course, after we'd been together for, I can't remember, a few months, his family left town. Oh. It's true. We had quite a, a emotional goodbye, which my grandmother walked in on when we were um, cry humping in the living room. <laughs> Grandma didn't have a lot of positive things to say about that. Um, anyway, that's not what this is about. This is about the heartbreak that I felt after that. And it is entitled, When You Left. When you left, I cried myself to sleep. I felt as if the earth had stopped. Every day I waited for the sound of your voice and the touch of your hand, but they never came. Time went on, and my tears have stopped, but when I think of you and me, I cry inside. <laughs> Which I believe was one of our drinking games. <laughs> so those of you who 